practice prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper with just a couple of updates, some news, and a prepping tip at the end of this video. First, I want to let you guys know that this Friday at 4.30 is going to be a regular practice episode, but it's a really funny one. I love the opening of this one, plus it has a really fun mid-roll ad that was a joint project between myself and everyone in the uh, Praxis Patreon uh, community. So a lot of people on the Patreon side that are helping to support this whole channel to improve the quality of the channel and, you know, specifically the Alien Invasion series, a lot of the, uh, those people helped to make this commercial. We all had a real fun time with it. I hope you guys enjoy it on Friday. Uh, the second point that I wanted to mention is that Alien Invasion is coming back for March on the third Friday of March if we can make our funding goal. At the moment, we're at 77% of funding. I said earlier, if we could get to 85% of funding, then I would consider 100%. I'll release a second episode for for uh, for March. Uh, otherwise, we'd be waiting until April, you know, the first Friday in April to, to check that out. You know, I'm kind of good either way. These, these alien invasion episodes take an enormous amount of time and effort on my part, so half of me wouldn't mind only doing one a month. I'm totally capable of doing two a month, but it is, it is a pretty big burden. Uh, but the other part of me knows that, you know, with the cliffhangers and all that, nobody really wants to wait around for a whole month between episodes. So I think that two a month is probably the best way to go. But, you know, if the support's not there, that's, that's fine too. It's up to you guys. I know a lot of new people have joined uh, my channel and have, uh, have a new interest in the Alien Invasion series. If you're one of those people and you want to partner with us and make that second episode come out in March, there's a Patreon link below for as little as a buck a month. Uh, you can join us, help us make that funding goal, and then we can get the, the second episode out for the month. But, you know, it's up to you guys. I'm, I'm totally fine with it either way. There's, there's a purity of the regular practice episodes where I don't have to worry about things like continuity, like, oh, wait, there's, I need snow on the ground, but I need to shoot this scene. It's like the regular practice episode doesn't matter. Just whatever it is, it is. <laughs> so the Alien Invasion episodes are... Very, very taxing, but I, it's very enjoyable. Uh, so I'm going to leave it to you guys. If you want two a month, if you want one a month, if we can get to 85% funding, I'll, get, I'll release two a month. And, you know, then we'll get into April and we can, uh, maybe we do, I don't know, 90% or whatever. Anyway, I'll set a prepping tip for you guys. So uh, this is something that doesn't really deserve its own video, but I wanted to share it with you all. Uh, this is a sunglass case. Uh, and I recently added this to my EDC pack when I was out. It was very bright. There was snow everywhere. I was starting to get a headache. Now, I have ibuprofen in my EDC bag, but, you know, if you can avoid it, that's, uh, that's ideal. So I, I got a hard case for sunglasses that I could put on the, the outside here. I chose this one. It's made by Civilian because it connected to the, like, the Molly webbing on the back, and, and it was a hard case. So those are my two criteria. Uh, it was described as a tactical eyeglass case. Now, I didn't really have the strongest sense of what the exact definition of tactical meant, so I thought it kind of sounded stupid that it was a tactical sunglass case. I looked it up and I still continue to think that that's just stupid marketing. Tactical sunglass case? I don't know, whatever. Uh, there are a couple problems with it. I mean, it's working out all right with me, but uh, there are a couple problems. The connection, it's a snap that uh, connects it to everything. That has already loosened itself once, uh, and it's, you know, it's not even old or anything like that. It, like, detached a little, so I'm, I'm gonna have to, like, kind of glue it down or something, but then it becomes, like, permanent. I don't know. I, I gotta figure that out somehow. So, uh, that, the attachment system isn't super ideal. I think just simple, but Velcro, like Molly oftentimes uses, would have been better, but whatever. Uh, also, I had to mount it upside down, or I chose to mount it upside down. You see there's a little clamp here, uh, that is normally dangling off the bottom of it. It's kind of nice that they give you a clamp, but yeah, I chose to mount it upside down so the clamp's up the top because here's a zipper. When I want to go in, I can get the sunglasses like this. If I mounted it the way that they seem to want you to mount it, flipped around, you open up from the bottom and then the glasses are kind of falling out. So I guess you get a gravity assist if you have two hands to catch it, but I often just don't have two hands free, so... I mounted it upside down. So it's all right. Just doesn't connect very well and not very well thought out. But anyway, think about that if you haven't thought about putting sunglasses in your, you know, your EDC kind of prep because it can be sort of a problem if things get really, really bright and you don't want to be getting a headache or anything like that. So anyway, I'll see you guys on Friday. If you want to do that second uh, alien invasion episode for the month of March, Patreon link down below. Jump on board. Like I said, 
you know, as little as a dollar a month you can help us make to that uh, make it to that 85% goal, and then we'll be able to see who had that that gap to my head. Is that is that what gap means? It's been a while since people still even use that word gap. What era is that from? Is that like a 1920s mobster thing? 30s? I don't know. Hi. Right. See you guys on Friday. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.